Hello friends, today we are going to discuss about a topic of plant hormone known as brassinosteroid. And before going to discuss the brassinosteroid, we have already known that there are many, we have already known that many animal hormone are steroid hormones but since from then we didn't know about any plant hormone which are steroid hormones and brassinosteroid is the steroid hormone it is, an stero it is a steroid hormone in nature and the first steroid hormone as we know as plant hormone and this class of polyhydroxysteroid have been recognized as sixth class sixth class of hormone plant hormone and utility as anti-cancer drug and this hormone is act as an anti-cancer drug we all know that cancer stop apoptosis or inhibit apoptosis and um, causing continuous growth so as an anti-cancer drug brassinosteroid induce apoptosis and induce apoptosis and they inhibit the growth unnatural growth that generally happened through cancer so from this introduction we have already known that it is a steroid plant hormone phytohormone not only uh, hormone it is a phytohormone that is phytohormone means the hormone that is originated from the plant and it is a steroid hormone and this polyhydroxysteroid and it is a polyhydroxysteroid the nature of the steroid is polyhydroxysteroid and this polyhydroxysteroid has been has been recognized as the sixth class of plant hormone and utility is as an anti-cancer drug and this is this hormone is first discovered or explored by an uh, explored in 1970s and scientist known as Mitchell et al Mitchell et al the scientist made this discovery about the brassinosteroid and brassinosteroid first isolated discovered but first isolated in 1979 1979 first it is isolated and generally the pollen and isolated from where isolated from the pollen of Brassica napas, the pollen from Brassica napas, and the amount we got is very little from a large amount. Around 230 kg of Brassica napas gives only 10 mg brassinosteroid. 10 mg brassinosteroid. So from this discussion we can easily say that plant hormone a steroid plant hormone is brassinosteroid and it is a polyhydroxysteroid and act as an anti-cancer drug first discovered by Mitchell et al 1970 and isolated in 1979 and from the pollen of brassica napas but the amount we get is very little so from where we can um, now going to discuss about the biosynthesis of this hormone if we discuss about the biosynthesis of this hormone we can say easily that that the biosynthesis of this hormone this is a structure of it is it is a it is uh, we can say that it is synthesized from campesterol campesterol is an chemical compound from where it is biosynthesis. Tale, 
so we can say it is biosynthesized biosynthesized from campesterol and the pathway is elucidated by Japanese scientist or Japanese researcher we can say that they, they first elucidate the pathway and the they also show the experimental demonstration about this and the hypothesis said that all tissue produces from all tissue of the plant can produce all tissue can produce all tissue produces this hormone BR or brassinosteroid brassinosteroid so all tissue can synthesize this brassinosteroid so from this discussion we can easily say that biosynthesis of brassinosteroid is from a chemical compound known as campesterol and all tissues can produce this and long and so the major uh, part of this that they can travel or they can transport through they can be transported they can be transported to short as well as long distance short and as well as long distance distances so from where we can easily say that that it is a major hormone that play an important role and and from where from which kind of plant it is found if we find that from which kind of plant we found we can easily say that monoplast freshwater algae brown algae such kind of ancient plant brown, brown algae brown algae and and also the freshwater algae from where we can found freshwater algae from where we can found this brassinosteroid and it indicates that widespread ancient it is an widespread ancient hormone from that we can easily said that it is a widespread plant hormone widespread plant hormone so uh, if we discuss about the hormonal activity or function if we go through the function of this brassinosteroid we can go through the structure uh, function of brassinosteroid we can easily say that it has many function or it act as many function uh, like first of all we can say that cell expansion cell expansion cell expansion and elongation is one of the major part of this hormone major role of this hormone secondly we can say the vascular differentiation mm, the vascular part can be differentiated through this hormone so it is an another important function of this hormone pollen tube formation is another important part pollen tube formation is done by this hormone so there are many major role played by this hormone in the plant body and the provide protection during it this is another major important role that this hormone can provide during provide protection during chilling and drought so it is a you can say that it is an important one of the most important role which uh, which they can play or they played during the plant part for protection so from where you can easily say the cell expansion cell elongation vascular differentiation and also 
pull and tube formation and the most important function that they have played is the, the protection the protection from the plant protection the protect the plant during chilling and drought condition so we can now we have to mainly discuss about another important part that is signaling pathway how how they function how they signal in the plant body signaling pathway is another important part we have to discuss here the signaling pathway before we uh, going to discuss the signaling pathway we have to know there are some term that we should know before we going through the it firstly brassinosteroid 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 are shortly known during this signaling pathway is BR secondly the brassinosteroid insensitive one brassinosteroid brassinosteroid insensitive one is known as or designated as BRI1 BRI1 thirdly we told about another term that is BRI1 associated receptor kinase associated receptor kinase that is known as back one and there are another important term we have to know before going to start the discussion BRI BRI1 sorry BKI1 BKI1 is another important term that is that is BRI1 kinase inhibitor inhibitor 1 so now we can say that these terms are very important and uh, these terms are very important before we start the discussion so brassinosteroid are indicated as BR1 and brassinosteroid insensitive are known as BRI1 brassinosteroid BRI1 associated receptor kinase is known as BAC1 and uh, BKI1 is brass, brassinosteroid insensitive inhibitor kinase these are these terms we have to know if we first uh, draw a picture about that um, term that is it is known as BRI one and this part is the inhibitor part is known as these are the inhibitor part that is known as BKI1 BKI1 and another part that is we mentioned here that is the back one back one so these two part one is BR I one and another is back one and these two parts are separated when brassinosteroid is is absent brassinosteroid is absent but in presence of brassinosteroid 
when uh, but in presence of brassinosteroid this two part get attached like this one is and when BR is present and during this session this part like BKI1 is separated from this part so these two part get attached one is brassinosteroid insensitive one part and the brassinos BRI1 part brassino associated receptor kinase one part and the another brassinosteroid BRI1 associated receptor kinase these two when these two parts are getting attached they become activated and during this activation uh, after the activation they they uh, inhibit that uh, the bin 2 bin 2 factor what is bin 2 bin 2 is a uh, kind of factor that is help that stop the uh, signaling pathway of transcription factor so bin2 is an important part that we have to know what is bin2 bin2 is uh, 